Hi, I'm Catherine, the creator of Shia and the Jetsons Community Preservation of the Promised Land. I made a video earlier about, uh, about uh, Maleficent, Angela, Angela Jolie, I can't pronounce these names right, but anyway, she is Obafamen, and, and I made an er, er, early video yesterday, and I accidentally deleted it. Oh, and speaking of that, my other video was deleted. I didn't even delete that. I did not delete the other video. It was the live video that I made yesterday, last night. Anyway, this is crazy, but they're just cutting off a lot of people's uh, information and stuff like that. So I'm on Facebook trying to put out the information on Facebook. I'm having a hard time putting it on, on Patreon. So what I do is I'll, I'll put a link on Patreon for you to click on to my videos on Patreon. So just be my Patreon uh, members so that you can get the link to the videos that they won't don't want you to see okay okay so this is not so so obafama is maleficent she is maleficent that's what obafama is she is the protector of the moors she protects i'm just going to be honest she protects dumb evil black men and she only does that she doesn't in nature she doesn't care she hates white people she 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 is she is duality she but she's all about black it's all it's only black this is a a black uh this is a this is a black phenomenon if you want to call her him a phenomenon or whatever it you know it's a it's it's not really a half goat man thing it's it's the energy of nature the nature rule it's the nature rule it's the it's the protector of stupid black men the moors i'm i'm just being honest upon a time, for you may remember this story, there was a powerful fae named Maleficent. She said powerful fae. That's Obafemin. She said fae, a powerful fae. That's Obafemin. Mm -hmm. You better want to do it. You got to hear that again. She, she said a powerful fae. That's a, a, a woman. Obafemin is Obama, Mich Michelle Obama, and, and Obama together. I know that sounds crazy. That's Obama for me because I don't. Ugh, I'm Once that. upon a time, or perhaps twice upon a time, for you may remember this story, there was a powerful fae named Maleficent. <laughs> For some reason, the mistress of evil and protector of the Moors was still hated after all this time. She's hated. True. She's of course she's hated because she protects, she protects the stupid ones. She protects coons. Um, that's why they've been around for so long because because Obafemi is the protector of of evil black men, and, and that's why white men call Obafemi uh, Satan, and then they put the church in there when they're the ones that created the church, not Obafemi. Obafemi is not a church. So when black men are fearful of Obafemi because the white man is saying that he's that Obafemi he she is a is Satan and all that, that's because the the black man have to really stop having like crackatosis or something and like get out of the white man's ass and they, like don't listen to the white man like just like Bobby Hemet said. Ooh, speaking of Bobby Hemet, shout out to to uh um uh Louisiana Tay. Oh my God, Louisiana Tay because. He, I, sh I seen him put out uh, about uh, the difference between, um, anyway, he had um, um, or Bo uh, Bobby Hemet on there. And I did not know Bobby Hemet said what he said about Obafemi. He said that, uh, you know, it was things that Louisiana Tay showed in his video that I just seen, uh, I just seen just now, that... I did not know Bobby Hemet said that, and and I, and I was saying it, and I didn't see, I did not know that Bobby Hemet said it, but I was saying it, and that confirmed that I was I'm right because I didn't know he said what he what he was saying. See, I heard him break down the Obama, but there was something, there was certain things that he said in there that confirmed what I was saying that it's true that Obama is is it would be evil to to white people, but to us it's it's like. 
it's like just family that you don't want to deal with. Obafemit protects the one that you hate. That's why we, I don't know. I'm just saying it, it's a, it's a, it's not evil. Obafemit is, that's impossible for it to be evil because it's, it's you. It's, it's shit that we dealing with. You know what I mean? And, and so I don't know why they put it as a half goat man, because I think what they put her as half goat man is because she would be like, you know, the goat because she talks about, she's about nature. She gives birth to, you know what I'm saying? And she's not the Eve thing. The Eve, you no, know, she's, it's like she protects stupid men. I just can't explain it. But anyway, black men, only black men. Okay. So, um, and black women too, of course. She's, you know, she's good and evil. She's. She's she's good and evil on a on a on a on a black side of the of the DNA. You know what I'm saying? Cast the princess Aurora, but that was before she found light in the heart of a human child and raised the girl as her own. After all, it was Maleficent's love which broke that very same curse. But that detail was somehow mysteriously forgotten. For as the tale was told over and again throughout the kingdom, Maleficent became the villain once more. See, see now, this is white Hollywood talking villain. When we talk about she's a villain to us, she's we're talking about, you know, she's duality. So it's like, it's like she just sides more to me with, you know, like just like <laughs> stupid black man to me. So. That's why she was hated, you know, but she was still nature. She give you what you need. She's a woman. You know, she's one of those women that, that, that was shellac the, her, 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 uh, her son. Oh, my son would never do that. And your son is a, a rapist murderer and shit. Oh, my son would never do that. That's a, that's a Baphomet type female type. But, but anyway, um, but she's, but you know, she's duality and she's good, but it's like, hmm. Anyway, um, I mean, but she, cause she loves nature. That's what's good about it. You know, and then when we talk about that, that goat, you know, the goat, we're talking about if a goat could speak, it would speak about only of nature. It would tell you and teach you about healings and nature and things of the natural root. So we're just talking about nature and then balance in our personal lives and situations that sometimes we might not like. Like how she sides with certain people. I'm just saying. Um, I'll show you a clip of her. I'll show you a clip of her going to war with only the white armies because, like I said, she would represent Michelle Obama because you know she's like Mike and that, and then she keeps Obama, which Obama ain't shit. See, she she shellacks this man because she's both. Both of them are a from it. <laughs> See, she would take care of all of this, and so would I. I would take care of all of the, you know, nature and beautiful things and stuff like that. Oh, and then things were really flying like that, you know, like and she would, and she, she, she had wings, and she's like, she's the horn, horn god lady, and she would uh, take care of groups, big old huge trees that really, really walked, trees really walked. And if you cut it, it'll bleed, and it it would it, it's a human tree. Well, anyway, Mane Maneficence, that was that's that's where she lived. We lived in trees, and those trees took care of us because those trees was big as like you know huge skyscrapers, and they would reach up to the clouds and things like that. So some of the, the I mean some of the trees were so huge that they would just be <laughs> really I can't explain it, but it's just big huge trees. But anyway, Maneficence, she lived in those trees, and there was many different Maneficence. It just wasn't one. It was many different Obafamets, you know what I'm saying? Because, and then, so now, but now Obafamet is in, in, in certain women here. You can see that, you know, they have duality. You know, this stuff is real. When you see stuff that's flying like these little fairies, um, they have a clip on uh, fairies in Egypt. These little men that their faces, they didn't look too good, but they were black men, little black little fairies that would fly. And um, what I mean, like they didn't look too good. It's just that maybe, I don't know. They just showed one that was 
it was dead, but it's like you could see its face. It's just like kind of like an old white, an old black man. <laughs> anyway, those were fairies, and they flew, and so that's why they Maleficent put this in there. I can't really show all this because I'll you know get a copyright strike. But I wanted to go off and do another subject about Betty White. You know, she was uh, murdered because she said something about uh, Epstein here. Let me, I don't think, I'm going to just leave a, a link. I'm just going to leave a link because I don't know. But uh, let me just show something else. Hold on. But yeah, Betty White done uh, did her little thing. She done said something and got her murked. So hold on. Oh, oh, thank you. Somebody just cashed at me $72. Thank you. Thank, thank you for all the donations. Where's my paper? Where is my paper? Oh. Two people donated. Okay. I've been wanting to, because I keep forgetting there's so much stuff. I just, I was getting in contact with the lawyer because I had a, I had a, not a, really a breakdown kind. I did cry yesterday. Cause I seen something so devastating and I had to get in contact with the lawyer in the morning and stuff. And so he's still pussyfooting around and I need you to go ahead and, and email him and just, you know, say, hi, can you just please take Catherine Irving's case? Uh, there, you can t tell what's going on. Just don't, don't say what we're, we're saying. Don't, don't scare the man. Just, just say, please take Catherine Irving's case. Uh, she wrote you October 18th. Okay. Anyway, I want to say thank you to, uh, okay. Yes. I still want to say, Say thank you to Teresa. She sent that five hundred dollars. I still can't get over that. Thank you so much. She told me to fix my microphone. Okay. I wonder, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So Mark Helms, Tracy Steele, Terrell. Thank you. Uh, you know, but you guys had already donated in the past. I'm just, I just, I just want to say, say thank you again. And then somebody, and then another people, another person donated ten dollars and twenty dollars. Cedric, thank you, Cedric. Lori, thank you, Lori. Ah, L Bay. Oh no, L Bay is my Patreon member. Oh, you guys be my Patreon member. Okay, so what? Okay, so where are we gonna go? Okay, over here. Okay, now there was a comment that was left on my, on my, uh, there was a comment that was, that was left on my up uh, they somebody said uh y'all weird why you be vilifying trump and stuff it's like no i'm not vilifying trump that's not what i'm doing i'm just showing you what he is to white people you know what i'm saying like what is this man to white people well he is their traitor he is their grim reaper he they was calling this man a traitor and all of this well he was married to this black model here for like two years and then his best friend is don juan money money magic Mike, the, the pimp, I, I can't pronounce this. Name. Okay, so let me show you his uh, best friend here. Um, because, you know, people think that, that Trump was like, you know, this real racist, but he, he can't be a racist if you got all this damn jungle fever and shit. See, this is this is his best friend. They was at the Freak Nick. Um, if y'all know what the Freak Nick is, let me see. Okay, you can see Trump. If you could see this, you can see Trump, and that's that's his friend. That, that, now, this was in 1994 at the Freak Nick. What is he doing at the Freak Nick? Because he got jungle fever. Now, he'd been hanging around with a whole bunch of uh, uh, rappers and stuff like that ever since he, you know, you know, so he's been always hanging around with, with black rappers and stuff like that. And this is why Kanye West would say, oh, dang, Trump, you gave me the dragon power. Okay, because Trump is not what you think. People called him a racist because they knew that he was their grim reaper. I'm talking about the, the media. They called this man a traitor. And whenever you hear a white man call another white man a traitor, he's calling him an in-lover. Remember that. Whenever you hear a white man call another white man a traitor, they call him, and the media called Trump a traitor. That means he was an in-lover. Because he hang around with all these damn rappers before he was president. Ain't nobody vilifying this man. I'm just saying what what position he is. That's why the media went crazy when they thought Hillary was going to win. And she didn't because she was trying to put everybody in FEMA camps. Now, since, since he became president, they were shocked. And they said, oh, no, hell no. Nah, because they knew 
that he was going in, and when he became president, well, who did he go after? The FBI, CIA. That's the first person that had to go. The first entity that was, you know, the first real evil entity that always had us hung, hung was the FBI and the CIA. And he took them out right away. That's the first uh, entity he went to and attacked because they came at him. They knew who he was. So that's why him and James Comey was going at it. Because remember, James Comey was the one that killed ODB and stole the gold album on the way out. So this is what the FBI do. They kill black people. Well, when Trump came in, oh, they was they was ooh, they wasn't having that. Okay, so now, so that's why I just wanted to show you that. Now, here is his girlfriend or his two-year-old, uh, just uh, I think they were like seven years. President Trump for two years. Tara Young's mother is black, her father is white. Now she's speaking out in the wake of Trump's controversial response to the neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville. I didn't hide my race from Donald Trump. He knew, Cara told today's New York Times. He would say, you're like Derek Jeter. And I would say, exactly. I never Derek Jeter, you know who that is. He's Derek Jeter is a black man. He is not white. People, people think that he's white because he looks white. But Derek Jeter is a black man. Never heard him say a disparaging comment towards any race of people. If you look at both sides, I think there's blame on both sides. But Cara says the president's remarks following the deadly attack in Charlottesville horrified her. Last year, Cara, now a mom, told the TV show Chasing News that Trump was not a racist. I would never go out with anybody that was a racist. Of course not. That's crazy. Cara and Trump met at a party in 1997. She was a top model, appearing in the Victoria's Secret catalog and many magazines, including the German edition of Playboy. In this ad campaign for Revlon, she posed with supermodels Claudia Schiffer and Cindy Crawford. Trump once sang Cara's praises to Howard Stern. She's a wonderful girl. You know, she's really a fantastic girl. After two years, Cara and the future president moved on. <laughs> Trump to another model, Melania Canal, is now the first. I'm sorry, he looked funny. Lady. <laughs> and Cara to another billionaire, shifting magnate Peter Georgopoulos. Now she wants America to know more about the man she knew all those years ago. I would never go out with anybody that was a racist. <laughs> So what I'm saying is that, you know, ain't nobody vilifying nobody. I was just trying to tell you that he, he, that's why the big, so I'm just trying to answer everybody's question that's asking me shit and saying shit that it's, it's nobody's vilifying anybody. We're just trying, I'm just trying to show you what, what, why white people hate him. I'm just showing you why, why white people hate him. Shit. Okay. Now, because, oh, the same reason why they call Obama Satan and shit, because Obama it would hate white people, right? I'm not saying Donald Trump hates white people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that he don't come to kill black people. He didn't come to kill black people. Uh, Freddie Gray, uh, Sandra Bland died on Obama's watch, Obafamit's watch, because Obafamit likes to shellac evil men. <sighs> anyway, um, but yeah, so they, so a lot of black people died on Ob Obama's watch. But Trump was trying to talk about getting rid of Hillary because she hated black people. She still do. She she always hated black people. So that's why she, he, Trump wanted to. He said, I'll do this for free. I'll, I'll try to destroy this woman for free. And I'll try to destroy the FBI for free. What president you know would even talk like that? They don't even, they don't even talk like that. I'm going to destroy the FBI and the CIA. Those are the people that was hanging us. So it, when, when black people was listening to the media saying, oh, oh, you know, they just ran to it just like they ran to the shot and that's, that's why they dying. Okay, so if you want to know why black people are dying, it's because they keep following shit they're not supposed to be following. They're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Like, see shit how it was in the beginning. Well, what was Trump before? Was he a racist before? No, he was hanging around a bunch of niggas at the fucking freak neck. Shit. Eating bar barbecue ribs and shit. But anyway, um, okay. So, I'm going to go and make another video on Patreon. Go to my Patreon because I have to show you some most horrifying shit. Oh, I think I already, I, yeah, I made the number one, but I didn't make the number two and three. Okay, because I got to put this on my Patreon. Listen, they are going to 
start chasing people, okay? Because they don't make those people out of a weapon against who did not take it. So they can really get rid of, this is how 7 billion people are going to die. Because when you stand by the one that took the booster, they you instantly, you get sick instantly. You got to lay down. They, my uh, my um, daughter's boyfriend was like, was she, he was like, he couldn't move for like f four hours. He had to go to sleep and just lay down. And, and you know what I'm saying? And then my daughter got real sick right when she just stood by. You know, when he came in the house, and she's like, damn, what's wrong with you? She immediately started coughing and she don't cough. And she's like getting sick right then and there. She's like, oh, I got to sit down. She was getting weak. It, 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 it takes you out like that. And I thought, you know, and I'm thinking like, I said, that's right. Because see, you since y'all didn't take the shot, all you got to do is just stay away from the people. And then my daughter said, yeah, we just can't be around these people or we'll die. And that's what really scared me. And I just really, you know, broke down because it's like, oh, my God, it's going to be so bad. Like, don't nobody know. And, he's just, and I'm talking about good black people that don't have a fucking clue that you're supposed to stay away from these people. And I mean, get away from them right now. Because the ones that took the booster shot is the ones that is deadly. Not the ones that took the number, the one, the first and second. No, that's to prepare the body for the booster shot. Because the booster is where... The semiosis in there is high mind intelligence. It's linked to your cell phone. So when they hit that button on that cell phone, they're going to make the person literally chase. No, they're going to make the people become terminators, literal terminators. And you can't stop them. You can't. I don't give a damn. You can't stop them because the what what I've seen when my daughter explained what happened to her, I seen what happened. What what is going to what is going to be like how 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 horrible is going to be because. Because, it, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be so horrible. And nobody knows this. Nobody really knows how bad it's going to be. But if you could imagine that what's in that what's in that shot, you have to look at venom. Let there be carnage. That's what's in the shot. And, 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 and the people that's going to be chasing after other people, they're going to have bloody pus mark coming out. They're going to be smelly. They're going to be the virus itself. You could smell them. It smells. They, they, they are... They are the virus itself, and they're going to have sores coming out of their, you know, they're going to be looking horrible. Their teeth going to be fucked up because this is going to, there's turning them right now. And the parking lot is still the same cars there, but there's more movement now. So what that means is that people are sick in the house because the, the cars that's supposed to be moving out of my parking lot, you know, the, the whole bunch, because I live in a big, huge parking uh, condominium, uh, condominium uh, apartment complex. And you can see the cars that normally, normally would have been gone, they still there. Because they sick, I'm telling you, some them that means that if them cars still there, somebody took the booster shot in that family family and, and somebody in there is dead or dead or dying or whatever because they're sick. You can't move, you're paralyzed. And then whoever is around the person that's paralyzed trying to help them, they're sick. They can't even help the person that's paralyzed because because my daughter's star, she was like, oh, oh, you know, she had to sit down. She had to get, you know, she didn't know what was going on. And then she figured it out that, oh, no, no, right, no. Her boyfriend figured it out. I said, no, as soon as I stood, stood next to the dude that took the booster shot, he said, well, I got all three. That, that was when I got sick because he was never sick. He'd never been sick. Like, he'd never been sick. He said, when, I, when he took that booster shot, that's what did it. Because I was around, he was around that dude before that. He was around that dude before he took the booster shot. But when he took the booster shot, that's when that's when Eddie got sick and damn near died. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, this is going to be so bad because good black people, I mean, good people, they don't have a clue. That's what made me cry. It's like, oh, my God. What if and yeah, and it's going to be a that's oh my. This is horrible. You know, <laughs> Thank you for everybody that, we, okay, I had to get a hold of this lawyer because uh, I'm going to cuss this man out. Okay, fine, I won't cuss him out. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, I'm just saying if he don't take my case, this is bad, but let, you know what, forget it. If he don't take a case, don't even worry about it. Just do exactly as I say. Get your sights on an RV center, but then stay in the house. Just make sure that when the shit hit the fan, get you an RV and park it at your house because you never know when you might have to get somewhere. Get the RV. I don't care how you got to get the fucking RV. I don't care if you got to get a sword and stab somebody. I don't whatever. But I'm saying when this shit hit the fan, get a, a really state-of-the-art RV. Just, just take it. Park it at your house that you normally stay at and just post up. 
And then you got to get our address, my address. We got to get everybody's address. And we got to get everybody's phone numbers on lock. Everybody. Because we have to meet up. Okay, and we have to meet up inland in the middle of the United States. Don't be on the on the outskirts of no water, nowhere. You know, and it's not even about a flood. Nope, it's about the people is the flood. The flood is the people, not water. But still, I don't know. Just, I don't know. I'm in California, so I'm just going to, you know, stay inland in, in California where I'm going towards Needle, going towards Las Vegas, going towards Utah. Because Utah is where... You know, that's where, you know, it's going to be at right there in California, Utah, and it's going to go all into inland Texas uh, because that's where that's where you need to be. But anyway, um, now, um, well, I, you know, just inland, not not necessarily Texas, but anywhere inland in the middle of the United States. OK, because and then also, too, you have to be away from the city. Don't move in the city. Move on the outskirts of the city because the flood is the people. You know that took it. That's the flood, and that you can't you can't really, uh, you know, because they're gonna be. It's a lot of them. You know, imagine seven billion coming to you know running chasing after people. That's why it's gonna be a lot of mass chaos and shit because people are gonna be running because they're gonna see people with sores and bloody teeth and and they're not gonna look the same. They're just gonna look, and they're not gonna, and they're not gonna talk. They're gonna be grunting. Watch. Planet of the Apes, part three, I think. They, they ended, them fake people ended up grunting, and Caesar ended up intelligent. Caesar and the Caesar and the apes ended up talking, intelligent, and all that, and the white people ended up grunting. That means that 